Hello and welcome to the video for accessing Microsoft Imagine Academy for students. Microsoft Imagine Academy can be accessed from anywhere. The simplest way for students to do this is to go up and to type imagineacademy.microsoft.com into their search bar. This will redirect students to the Microsoft Imagine Academy homepage. Once there, students will come over and they will select the green sign in button and this will redirect them to choose which Microsoft account they would like to use to sign in. Spokane Public School students will use their Office 365 accounts, but for the purpose of this video, we will be using a Microsoft account. From the email that you received, you will put in your email address and your password to sign in to access the student dashboard for Microsoft Imagine Academy. Don't forget to put Outlook.com or it won't know where to send you. We are now in the Microsoft Imagine Academy Students Dashboard. As you can see, there are several helpful things here. They can find my courses for courses and learning plans that they've already been loaded into. My achievements, which they can find certif certificates of completion and transcripts. Resume last course, so they can figure out where they left off at in any course and start it right there. And help topics. And there are several different help topics on here in case the student is stuck or they need any type of help navigating the system. There is also the student profile, which you can find up here, where students are able to edit their profile, switch organizations if they've transferred from another school, redeem enrollment codes which may have been sent out in an email from their instructor or their teacher, or sign out of the system completely. You will also see at the top here that there is a catalog and a search bar that the students can use to access additional courses that may not be in their learning plans for additional learning options. Right now we're going to go into my courses and view my courses. Once the student is in my courses, they will see their learning plans. Instructors have preloaded the learning plans, and the learning plans may contain one course or many courses. Under the learning plans, you can select the plus, and it will expand and show you all of the courses available under that learning plan. At this point, students are able to either play the course, go to the menu icon, or go to the trans view transcript. We're going to start with the menu icon because there are many helpful things in there. This takes you to where you can start the course. It also shows you in the upper right hand side the completion on the course. Students can check this at any time to see how far along they are in the course. There is the overview which tells students what they can expect throughout the course. The syllabus that's broken down into modules telling the students exactly what they will be completing. And there's the all important system requirements so that we can check our computers to make sure that we have everything we need to be successful in this course installed on our computer already. Students are able to navigate back by selecting the green back arrow. There are many different help desk topics available for students. There's printing transcripts, finding course system requirements, finding courses to take, accessing your course. Microsoft has set up helpful PDFs and videos for all of these different help topics. You can also go up here to the catalog and look for courses that you may want to select as additional learning options. We're going to add Excel and search for those. So right now we're going to add this getting started with Excel 2016. So if this is the course that you want, you'll go ahead and you'll add that. You'll see that it has been added under your courses. Close out of there and navigate back by the arrow. And if you look under, under my courses, you will find the, the courses that you have actually added yourself as a student.
We're going to now navigate back to the dashboard. My achievements is a helpful item for students for them to be able to click on it and go and see the current achievements that they have. So in order to get an achievement there, they need to complete a course. Once the course is completed, their achievement certificate will be loaded in here for students to view and print out. Thank you for watching our video. I hope that you found it helpful on accessing the student dashboard for Imagine Academy and using the student dashboard.